mentioned this is the largest firefighter tragedy in our state's history, and it is one of the uh, highest or largest, I should say, in the country in recent history. CBS 5's Morgan Lowe is here to give us some perspective on that because you've been actually digging into the numbers. Right. Uh, this is uh, the worst tragedy for wildland firefighters in Arizona history. Comes during hot, the second hottest weekend we've ever had. The, the second worst tragedy, the record holder before this, happened in 1990 mm -hmm. on the, during the time that we that reached the hottest. Wave, when we yeah. had Talking specifically about Arizona. Arizona, right. the mm -hmm. hottest, and that was six firefighters that died. 19 today. This is the largest in recent history across the country. Uh, in the early 2000s, 14 firefighters died in Colorado. The reason in, in all of these, what they all have in common, is the firefighters were killed in what's called a burnover. Uh, the fire chief didn't talk about specifics right. there, but the Associated Press is reporting that these firefighters deployed their, uh, what are they called? Emergency the, shelters. Right, their fire shelters. Right. So they deployed their fire shelters. That tells you they knew something had gone wrong. Mm -hmm. Why, what, what could have gone wrong? There's probably a couple of different options here, a couple different things. One, uh, the, the fire, they were either trapped, surrounded by the fire, or their escape route had been cut off. So they deploy the shelters. The other thing, and, and we've heard from some of the witnesses from the area about this fire that could have happened, is the fire starts to crown. It starts to move so fast that they can't outrun it. So they deploy the shelters, and then as, as one of the people quoted in the Associated Press said, something drastic happened. Well, and we know that the wind gusts really picked up to 30, 40 miles an hour, and so that really turned things for and these firefighters. Completely changed conditions. directions. Yeah. So potentially that was, was one of the things. I'll, I'll tell you, as somebody who's carried one of those shelters, because I've been in these fires, that shelter, it's called a tent, and it's, it's a tent or a shelter in name only. only it's right. like a piece of tin foil that you push, that you, you spread over you. That will protect you from a fire. It will not protect you from a fire that sits on top of you. But if the fire just goes over you, that can save your life. And we're watching video right now of uh, what these crews actually go through, these hotshot crews. They're very well trained. Uh, they train in this very rugged terrain. But as you mentioned earlier, Morgan, in this exact spot where they were, you've been there before, and right. it's not a place where you would want to be caught up. Yeah, we are, I mean, these guys are always fighting fires in areas that you'd probably never go hiking in because it's just too rough. But this spot in particular, the mountain there where Yarnell is located, we're talking about very steep canyons like sheer rock walls, steep areas that are very thick with brush that if they caught on fire, you know, it would be tough to get out. And only a couple of ways to get in and out of this area, not where you would want to go to fight a fire if you had to, unless Absolutely. you had to. Yeah.